Cat's Cradle here. I was watching a video yesterday of a woman showing her food storage and she was uh, showing a bunch of a stack of cans leaning on her shelf and she was saying that she wished there was a better way to uh, to load up her canned goods on her shelf and I wrote a comment to her and told her how I do it and she tried it and she wrote back and said how wonderful it was but I've got to tell you, I did not think of this myself, and I'm going to let my daughter Prepare, uh, whose idea this was, uh, tell you what she thought of and how it works and what to do. Take it over, Prepare. Okay, so on a shelf, you stack cans three or four high, and just by the nature of stacking cans, they're going to fall over. They're going to fall behind your shelf, they're going to fall on the ground where it's hard to get to them, and it's not going to be an efficient way to store cans. So, instead, you use cardboard soda boxes. Now, soda boxes can hold 12 regular soda cans, but since these are bigger in diameter at the base, they're, they don't, the boxes don't hold quite as many. So, when you load these, you kind of have to let gravity work for you. You can't just slide them in there and try to get them to fit up on top. It doesn't work. You have to turn it up on end like this. Kind of jiggles a little bit. And you just let them go in. So instead of forcing them in there, you just let gravity do the work for you, right? And just, just right. let them just fall let, down naturally? Yeah, just let gravity let them settle, and they'll go in. Now, for the last couple, you can turn it back down once you get the last couple in there. And so, I said it can hold 10 cans, and it can, but um, right now we only have 9 in there. But, as you can see, it can hold one more. So, that makes 10 cans. And so, it's about 6 inches here. So, six inches, and you can stack these, too. So, six inches with about ten cans stacked up three boxes high equals 30 cans for six inches of shelving space, which is much more efficient. Yeah, well, their shelves may be different, but our shelves, we can stack three of those, three of those cartons high, right? Right, three of them high, which is... Mm, Pretty, so what you're sure. saying, for the space of, of six inches wide on your shelf, we can get 30 cans, right? Right. And as you can see here, to stabilize the front, because it's a really weak front, so small, we use clear packing tape and put that over a label. So if we need to come in to the, the work, um, well, the storage room, we can say, oh, I need pinto beans. You go right to the box, label pinto beans. You need chili beans, you go right to the box that's labeled uh, pinto beans, and it's just great. So chili beans, we can go to chili beans or garbanzo beans or black beans, it's all real clear. You just go right in there and get the can you need. Yeah, the other thing too, thank you so much, Prepper That was a great explanation. This was all her idea. I was really struggling one day, and she said, Mom, we've got some empty soda cans. I think they'd work. Let's try it. She brought them in, and boy, did it ever work, and we just love it. Um, I will tell you, it's not great for rotating. You could cut a hole at the back and rotate, but I don't do that. What I do is, is I fill uh, a can. If I only had one carton of chili beans, that's on my shelf like that. Once I start the second carton of chili beans, I put that at the bottom and put the oldest carton on top. And I use so much uh, stuff that I don't really worry about rotating. These canned goods are good for 20 years. I don't care what it tells you on the label. Uh, so. I just put the oldest one on top and add new ones at the bottom. It's really easy to do. All you have to pull out is, is two cartons and put the new one on the bottom. It's just awesome. Now, if you're into having the latest gadget and the fanciest high-tech thing and the fanciest can rotators, uh, don't do this. If you like spending your hard-earned money on, on something just because it looks fancy or it's a newer idea, don't do this. Uh, if you like spending money on buying more preps instead of buying more gadgets, 
uh, this might be something you'd like because it's a real money saver. Uh, if you don't drink soda, there's plenty of people who do. And just find some one of your friends who drinks canned soda and tell them to save the 12-pack cartons for you. It's an awesome money saver. It's quick. It's efficient. And it allows you to stack a lot of cans in a small amount of space. I hope this helps someone. I hope this saves you money. Um, I love frugal ideas. So let me know if it works for you. Cat's Cradle and prep array.